Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on ActiveOS. In today's tutorial we are going to see what is ActiveOS console and what is ActiveOS central. Many times th this kind of questions are asked in an interview. Have you worked on ActiveOS central or have you worked on the ActiveOS console? So as a developer, as an Informatica developer, we might get confused with these terms. So I thought I should create one video so that everyone will be aware about this concept. So let's start today's session. What is ActiveOS console? ActiveOS console it's a web application. However, MDM Hub you might know that is a standalone application where user use their standalone instance to access the MDM configuration. However, ActiveOS is a web application, so no need to install any desktop uh, instance in order to access it. So you can access ActiveOS console anywhere as long as you have the access to network. You can access through this web browser. Normally administrator means like like MDM hub administrator the ActiveOS administrator will also play a vital role in usage of this active uh, this ActiveOS console. This ActiveOS console is only used by administrator and not by developers or the business users. Administrator use ActiveOS console to manage deployed processes, also to see the alerting system and configure the alerting system, also to configure endpoint locations. So these are the main activities administrator will perform using ActiveOS console and those are only related to the ActiveOS and nothing related to MDM Hub. ActiveOS console can also be used to perform act activities such as performance monitoring and performance management. Those kind of the application monitoring, application uh, controlling activity will be done using this console. How to access ActiveOS? So you have to use HTTP or you, it comes with the HTTPS that is encrypted version also. Based on your configuration you can access the HTTP or HTTPS then the server name and port on which ActiveOS is running. Normally it runs on the same way the hub server is running. So if you try to access like using I have installed in my local so you can see the local host port is 8080 and then ActiveOS and just enter it the home page will open and the home page will look like this you might have seen this screen in before uh, in one of my sessions so I have I might have shown you how to use this ActiveOS it has the tabs such as home monitor report catalog and admin we will explore each and every module of this ActiveOS in upcoming sessions. So today's session is mostly to understand the difference between ActiveOS, console and ActiveOS central. So you can see it's very uh, administrative oriented console so where it has the actions kind of monitoring, admin, catalog, reporting etc. So this is used by the ActiveOS administrator. So I'm making this point again and again to make sure you know this whether you are responsible for this or someone else now i have logged in activos admin so this user should be present in the web logic container or application server container like i'm using jboss so it is present in the jboss container so this user which i created during the installation of activos will be used for the login you can create any other admin user to administrate this activity and that is possible. Now the next thing is, so we understand what is ActiveOS console, then what is ActiveOS central? ActiveOS central is one of the old component because we know that ActiveOS was taken, it is another separate, it was another separate company and in 2003, uh, 13 Informatica took over this company and now we call as a Informatica ActiveOS. So before Informatica took over, the ActiveOS was having this component called as ActiveOS Central, where a user, business user, used to log into this ActiveOS Central and used to manage the task. What are the uh, what are the 
assigned to them so it is another web application so users can access through web browser business users can use active OS central to manage tasks requests and reports so the business users such as data steward who were responsible for managing tasks approving tasks creating new tasks or requests and generating reports so these are the more business activities business user activities can be done using active OS central once you configure MDM hub and active OS console the active OS central will be ready to use however in we know that the informatica date informatic mdm hub and the active OS are integrated so now the task will be created and assigned in the informatica data director so active OS central is kind of become a legacy it's no more kind of use but still if, if any particular business want to use this they can use they can leverage this tool in general business users use an informatica data director application to manage tasks because they can open the entities to view from task management so which is giving more additional feature in the IDD compared to ActiveOS Central that is the reason it is preferred to use in the IDD rather than using ActiveOS Central but suppose I want to use ActiveOS Central how can I access so in order to access it you have to use HTTP or HTTPS server name port and ActiveOS hyphen central so this is the endpoint you have to use how it looks like so i have already configured here local os 8080 active os center and just hit enter so you will see the screen right now we have not configured any tasks and that is the reason you are not able to see any of the components here but uh, as we proceed further we configure you will be able to see the task here as well so we have the, some sections such as forms and reports etc so all those sections will be populated as soon as we configure the things uh, for ActiveOS, so these are the two different uh, two different applications, and they have their own significance. There, we cannot differentiate ActiveOS console and ActiveOS central because those are two different entities which cannot be compared. Because, and these are the two significant application in applic uh, in ActiveOS. I hope this tutorial gave you some idea about ActiveOS console and ActiveOS central. If you have any questions or queries about ActiveOS, you can mention in comment section of this video. Thank you again for watching my video. Have a nice time.